hello there so I'm partially ready but I'm going to use my flat iron to straighten like the front portions of my hair because right now they are the ones let me put y'all over here they are the ones that currently look a little crazy <laughs> else is kind of okay so I'm gonna just run through the front and kind of like the ponytail itself so I'm um, yeah I haven't really used the virgin hair oil in my hair for a while and there's no specific reason why I haven't used it well yeah since I've taken um since I've taken the wig off I haven't really used it so it's just that but um yeah, right now I'm gonna go in and like <laughs> try straightening the front portions of my hair and stuff while I listen to some Drake of that is my man's love Drake. So yeah, that's what's up right now. We're gonna go in and straighten them bad boys around the front out. See, that's, that's really the only portion that's kind of bugging right now. Which also is understandable because, you know, when you shower and all that stuff, those are the parts that the water is, like, focusing on. Lord. This is the most unsettling part about straightening your hair. Going around the front. That shit makes you pee even if you haven't been burnt. And you guys don't follow me because the way how I'm doing it right now is not the healthy way to do it. This is some heat protector. I'm going to just spray that on the ends. This is not the best way to straighten your hair, but you know, I don't normally do anything the way how it's supposed to be done. But that's just me. Don't be like me, y'all. <laughs> Get it done the right way. Oh Lord, this heat from this iron. No joke. I'm gonna be wearing it up today because today is a little snow day. I'm gonna do around the back a little bit too. Today it's gonna be snowing and you know water makes <laughs> blow dried or straightened hair revert. We're not trying to have none of that happen so For the most part it's gonna be up today so the battery just died and i just went in and put some of my i'm gonna show it to you guys the other day a girl or a lady asked on one of my videos what the brush was that i was using which was the blow dryer this is what i'm using in my hair that is it Curl smoothie. Jesus. <laughs> Curl smoothie on straight hair. Wow. Smart move. It's a good little spot. And you guys, I'm that person who, <laughs> I just care how the front looks. I remember my friend in the Bronx always is saying, Janine, you really have to 
pay a little bit more attention to the back of your hair because it is there too. I'm just like, bro, I know, but you know, it's just that the first thing people see is the front. Nobody really sees the back like that. They always thought I was crazy. Because I put so much effort and so much energy in the front <laughs> and the back <laughs> looks hella crazy. So I'm going to go in and straighten the ends a little bit. But you know, when I have my hair flat ironed, this is kind of how I maintain it really. Nothing too crazy. Just thinking I should probably curl the ends, but that's gonna be doing too much and it's about to snow. Have to keep that in mind. Do all this work to straighten your hair and make the ends cute and whatever. And then you go outside in the snow and that shit just falls and gets curly because um, when it snows, that happens. So we're going to leave all that fancy stuff for the nicer weather. But Lord, this is a lot of hair. I feel like I never really realized how much my hair grows until... Because I don't really pay attention to it that much. You know how? I remember one time my hair was cut years ago. Maybe like 2006. Maybe 2007. My hair was cut. And it was cut short because it was breaking. A girl that was pregnant combed it. And they said, when you let pregnant people comb your hair, it falls out. I don't know if that was true, but my hair was falling out in that time. But, you know, we don't know if it was that. So, um, it was falling out and my mom cut it. And, Lord, I was in high school, but... I don't know if it was because I wanted it to grow back so quickly. That joint was not growing, bro. And I was just watching it so much. Mind you, it was being manipulated. And the most unhealthiest thing for your hair is to be manipulating it, you know? So it wasn't really growing. And because I was watching it and I was doing everything to it. Putting heat on there every morning to curl it because it was... In like that hot curl style and I was just doing team too much so that joint was not growing and you know I just realized now that it's when you're not really paying that much attention to it and not really stressing it that much when it actually grows so ever since then I haven't really you know I have my hair out and that's pretty much it I'm not really stressing it it's just there thriving on its own and that is really it I'm not doing no extra nothing to make it grow I'm not, the only thing I use right now is the virgin hair oil, and that is pretty much it. Maybe I should put some around the front, because I haven't put any in there in a while. This is it. If anything is making my hair grow, it probably is this, and I've been using this for a while. My mom told me about it, and then I start started using it, and I like, I like what it does to my hair. And the other day, I seen a lady, and she was just like, yeah, that thing, trust me, it works. I can't say trust me it works because I don't pay enough attention to realize if it's working or not. For all I know, my hair just naturally grows in a pretty decent speed. And I used to think it didn't grow either. But that was also, also in the time when I was just watching it. I wanted it to grow so bad. Well, I just couldn't leave the hair alone to just allow it to thrive naturally. So that was not helping. Anyways, it's 10 to 16 right now, but... Because there's supposed to be a blizzard today, I think I'm going to leave a little bit early, just so I still get there early. If anything, I'm going to just go into like Burlington or one of them stores and like walk up and down or whatever. Because I do need to buy another jacket because the one that I have right now is kind of annoying. I mean, obviously it still works, but if I find one instead of Burlington too that I want to buy, then I could just drop that one off and like don't deal with that one at all ever again. Because they're doing this... I think it's called a jacket trade where 
you drop one off and I think you get 30% off of the next one. Listen, I'm not really sure if this is how this works, but that's what I heard. So I'm going to go in there and see what's up because I need a new jacket. The other day I went inside of H&M and they had some on sale a few weeks ago and I should have taken the sale right there and then, right then and there, which, however it works. But I did not. And because I passed up on that, I feel like I missed out because when I went back in there a couple of days ago, they didn't have those anymore, which is so understandable because they were on sale. So that was super annoying. So um, now I might just go in H&M up top to see what's up up there. And um, yeah, I don't know. I got to see what time I actually leave and everything though because it's still pretty early right now. It's 10.17 and I'm supposed to get where I'm going by 12 o'clock so I have a lot of time but I already ate breakfast and all that so chances are I'm gonna just chill and like continue listening to my Drake and whatever until until I have to leave and stuff so um yeah I guess I will pick the vlog back up later I already look crazy and I just I just put my hair out Jesus Trying to see if I want to leave a little something out. Guys, I'm going to go. Because I'm never going to be done talking.